One of the easiest ways to boost the production value of your movie or animation is by building out large, detailed environments. So today we're diving into 12 powerful add-ons that make creating expansive scenes in Blender faster, easier, and way more fun. Whenever I'm starting on a large environment, I like to kick things off with the sky. For outdoor scenes, the sky isn't just background decoration, it's the main source of light, and it usually takes up a huge chunk of the screen. That's why picking the right sky add-on actually matters more than you'd think. You can match the lighting to your background, which is super helpful because so many things influence how a scene feels. Blender does come with a built-in sky system, but its biggest downside is the lack of clouds, which means it can't really capture the variety of real-world skies. If you want a setup that gives you full control and looks good in any weather, I'd recommend checking out the True Sky extension. It nails everything from bright sunny days to moody overcast vibes. The next logical step after setting up your sky is the landscape itself. Here you've got a bunch of options, whether you want to go fully procedural with something like True Terrain, or just drag and drop detailed assets straight into your scene. Uh, personally, if you're thinking of blending natural and urban environments, I'd say go for the Landscapes Bundle. It includes both mountainscapes and cityscapes, which makes it super flexible for all kinds of scenes. These aren't just generic models either, they're 3D scanned assets with 4K and 8K textures, so the quality is seriously good right out of the box. Mountainscapes comes packed with 152 ready-to-use elements, including snowy peaks, tropical cliffs, rugged rocks, you name it. And if you need cities, Cityscapes has over 90 urban environments scanned from real places like Paris, Berlin, New York, Tokyo, and a bunch more. Just drop them into your scene and you've got instant detail and realism. If you want to go the procedural route, nothing beats True Terrain 5. It's a procedural tool for creating terrains, and you can either start from a list of templates or build your own from scratch. You can import height maps, add craters, erode your landscapes to make them look more realistic, and even generate materials that match your design. The add-on is built using real scientific data for erosion and wind simulation, which gives your terrain that natural, half-believable feel. You can also add lakes, rivers, and other details, including vegetation cover, all within the same tool. While true terrain does come with plants and trees, if you're planning to create a thick, dense forest that not only looks realistic, but also renders insanely fast, the add-on at number four is perfect for that. And that's alpha trees. Large forests are one of the easiest ways to make your scenes look more cinematic and high budget without actually putting in a ton of extra work. But the trade-off is usually performance. Tons of trees can slow down your viewport and drag out render times. That's where alpha trees comes in. It handles forest generation in a super optimized way. Instead of modeling every single tree with hundreds of polygons, it uses the classic cardboard cutout trick. Each tree is just a flat plane with a high quality texture that always faces the camera. And since forests like these are usually seen from a distance, the illusion totally holds up. You get the visual complexity without the computational headache. If you want to mix in a beach, a lake shore, or maybe even a winding river, then definitely check out the Water Library add-on. This used to be two separate add-ons, Aquatic and Water Library, but they were later merged into one solid package. Aquatic focused on creating rivers, lakes, rain effects, beaches, and puddles, while the original Water Library was more of a collection of pre-simulated water assets, mainly used in ArchViz projects. Now you get the best of both worlds in a single add-on. The assets are not only realistic, but also animated, so they instantly add a layer of detail and movement to your scene, without you having to spend hours simulating or faking it. It's one of those time-saving tools that just makes major your environments feel way more alive. Whenever you're starting a new project, it's pretty much impossible to predict exactly which add-ons you'll need along the way. That's why this next one is such a gem a massive bundle that includes 50 different add-ons covering all sorts of scenarios. It's like having a Swiss army knife for Blender. Inside, you'll find everything from an AI texturing add-on and a 3D model generator AI, to a texture blending tool, a depth generator, a fluid simulator, an AI material creator, an explosion generator, an RBD physics add-on, and a ton more. Whether you're working on effects, modeling, materials, or full-blown simulations, there's something in this pack that'll speed things up and make your work look better across the board. Before we jump into more add-ons, I almost forgot about one that could save your entire project. 
literally, the Memsaver add-on. Because let's be real, the worst thing that can happen is pouring hours into building an epic scene, only for your computer to choke when it's time to render. Memsaver has a few smart tricks up its sleeve to make sure that doesn't happen. It can automatically reduce the resolution of your textures, especially for objects that are far from the camera. It also applies adaptive mesh decimation based on camera distance, meaning objects in the background don't waste precious resources. Add in view culling and a few more behind the scenes optimizations and suddenly your monster scene becomes way more manageable to render without you having to manually tweak every little thing. Since we're on the topic of rendering, we've got to talk about Render Manager. Ever made some changes to your scene, tweaked the lighting, moved a few objects, only to realize the earlier version actually looked better? Yeah, we've all been there. With Render Manager, that's no longer a problem. You can save different render states, so if you ever want to go back in time and compare versions, it's just a click away. But that's just one of the handy features. If you're working with multiple cameras and want to render still images from each, Render Manager can handle that too with its batch render function. Just set it up, hit go, and it'll process each camera one by one while you're off grabbing lunch. Or, let's be honest, taking a nap. It's one of those add-ons that quietly makes your life way easier. Working on large scenes can get pretty exhausting, especially when you've got hundreds of objects to place and everything needs to feel natural and believable. That's where add-ons like GeoScatter really shine. If you're planning to instance a ton of assets across your environment, GeoScatter saves you from the headache of manual placement. It's been the go-to tool for over 13,000 artists for a reason. Most people hear scattering and immediately think of vegetation. And yes, it's amazing for trees, grass, and bushes, but it doesn't stop there. You can scatter buildings, rocks, debris, even entire city blocks if you want. And the best part? It handles it all in a way that makes everything look like it actually belongs together. Cohesive, realistic, and fast. One of the best ways to break up those obvious repeating patterns, especially when you've reused the same objects a bit too much, is to simply add more variety. This is super important when it comes to vegetation because nothing ruins immersion faster than a forest made out of the same three trees copy-pasted all over the place. That's where the Botanic Library comes in. It's hands down the most consistently updated plant library out there. Over the years, it's had major updates like the shrubs pack, the succulents update, flowers, and plenty more. And it's not just big, it's huge. Already the largest plant library on the market, and it just keeps getting better. If you're building lush outdoor scenes or even smaller patches of greenery, this is the kind of variety that makes a big difference. One of the best tricks every indie filmmaker should have up their sleeve is motion tracking. It's like movie magic, turning a cheap, small set into an expensive hotel lobby, a deep forest, or even a futuristic city. Uh, by extending the boundaries of your real-world set with CGI, you instantly boost the quality and production value of your shots without blowing the budget. If you're looking for a motion tracking add-on that makes the process way smoother, take note of Flax Tracks. It builds on top of Blender's built-in tracking tools, but adds more automation, better accuracy, and a way more user-friendly experience. Basically, it helps you get a solid camera solve without having to manually fine-tune every little thing. So whether you're compositing a few background buildings or adding an entire CG extension, Flax Tracks makes sure your shots line up perfectly. Environments don't have to be all forests and mountains. Sometimes you're building an urban jungle packed with skyscrapers, endless roads, traffic jams, and crowds of people going about their day. And yeah, that does sound like a massive undertaking, because it is. Modeling a single building takes time, so building an entire city, that's next level work. But with the City Generator add-on, it honestly feels like cheating in the best way. Everything is procedural. Streets, road widths, building height and density, even traffic and animated crowds. It handles the technical stuff so you can focus on being the designer. Just lay out your subdivisions, tweak a few settings, and watch them come to life as a living, breathing city. It turns what should be days of work into minutes. And if you want to throw in a little bit of chaos, cracks, debris, total destruction, then you've got to check out the Destroyed Road Generator. It's perfect for creating damaged roads after an earthquake, a superhero showdown, a post-apocalyptic collapse, or any kind of world-ending event you can imagine. 
everything is procedural, so you've got full control over the size, type, and level of damage. Whether you want a few subtle cracks or a street that's been completely torn apart, it's all just a few tweaks away. One of the best parts? You can toggle between low poly and high poly modes depending on how beefy your machine is, so you can keep things running smoothly even in heavier scenes. To wrap up the list, it only makes sense to end with the Master Geometry Nodes course. The one course that teaches you how to actually make procedural generators like the ones we've talked about today. If you dive into it, who knows? Maybe in a few weeks, your own generator will be the next big thing featured on lists like this, making waves in the Blender community. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you next time. Peace.